Hey, Ed Leak here. Um, so we get to see hundreds of Google AdWords accounts and that means we get to see hundreds of problems, if not thousands of problems. One of the main features that people are forgetting or neglecting to use in their Google AdWords accounts when we look at them is RLSA, so Remarketing Lists for Search Advertising. So today I want to quickly run through what it is, how you use it, install it or use it, a um, couple of caveats or uh, common problems we see, and then a few advanced techniques that we use with retargeting lists for search advertising. Essentially, people that are in your list, your audience, could be organic traffic, social media traffic, direct traffic, email traffic to your website. If these people are searching again for your keywords and your search terms, you can retarget them because they're obviously still in the market. Now, you can install a tag for your lists, uh, which essentially cookies people as they visit your website, but the better way or the preferred option is to use your analytics integration and send audiences from Google Analytics back to your AdWords account. So I'm going to hop over to the computer, which is over there, and show you how to do this. Wait a second. Okay, so I'm just in a, a test account, and on uh, your left-hand menu in AdWords. This is using the old interface, by the way, so this will move, unfortunately. Uh, we do have access to the beta, but we're playing around with it at the minute, so I'm going to show you the old interface, uh, which is not exactly great timing, but never mind. This is where you'd set it up, within Shared Library, Audiences, and if we click View, uh, if you've never set it up before, you'd be presented with this, and then Set Up Remarketing, you can ignore Dynamic for now, and Google, literally gives you a retargeting tag, which is fine, but uh, it means you've got to add another tag to your website and maintain another tag. Um, but there are also some limitations that you don't get with analytics. So if we jump over to analytics, I prefer analytics because it can send audiences and segments that you create over to AdWords. You don't have to install any code. You don't have to do anything clever. Um, it's really straightforward. So you would literally create a segment. So for example here, these time-based segments that we've set up, if I just edit one of these, these are great. So these essentially say, uh, for this particular account, someone who spent between two and four minutes and they're from the UK are in this segment, which we can then create an audience from. So really simple, demographic, Location, you don't have to put that in if you don't want to, but the condition is the important thing here. So the filter is uh, session duration is between uh, 120 seconds and 239, so two to four minutes. A quick tip here, get rid of that, put that to 240. Call that four minutes, and that, you can call it whatever you like, but I'm just changing that because I'm a bit OCD. Um, Session duration, 2.40, that's essentially saying anyone who's spent four minutes or more on the website is in this segment, okay? And that four-minute segment we found over the years, particularly for retargeting, is quite the sweet spot. No matter if you're a service or e-commerce-based business, people who've spent four minutes or more who haven't converted are ripe for retargeting. So let's assume we save that and we've got our audience I beg your pardon, our segment. Now, what we do is go in here, and we've got all these segments, uh, custom ones, loads and loads and loads. But what we can do is literally, when we've got the audience set up, go over to the right-hand side, click on Actions, and then Build Audience. And this takes you through to the admin. Essentially, what you're doing here is setting the membership dur duration. So how long will people remain in your retargeting list, this particular list? I just said retargeting instead of remarketing. In this day and age, they're the same bloody thing. It's just Google calls it remarketing to confuse people. So those terms are interchangeable. They didn't used to be, by the way, but Google has changed the rules being Google. Uh, a members, membership duration of 30 days is about right for most people. If, you, if you're a service-based business, for example, um, and you've got a long sales cycle, you could push this out to sort of 90 days. But this is... You know, I can't tell you what to put here. This For, for most e-commerce stores, 30 days is ample. For most service-based businesses, 30 to 90. But it, it all comes down to your understanding of your business. So we're not going to labour that point. 
One annoying thing, it doesn't carry through the name. So you have to put the information in there. Uh, and then you just get the audience definition here to confirm what you are in the next step, sending over to your destination, which is an AdWords account. And literally, if I OK that, uh, and then hit publish, it will go to that AdWords account. I'm not going to do it because this is a live account. So what happens when that is sent over to AdWords? I'm going to jump in and show you.